Hello everyone, this is Mamta Moon and today we will learn and solve questions 1 to 13 of exercise 1A, chapter 1. Chapter name is Knowing Our Numbers of class 6 of Composite Mathematics Textbook. If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos. And please visit my blog massgrade.com for more information regarding the textbook solution CBSC, ICAC and state school. Let's get started and solve some questions. Hello everyone, this is Mamta Moon and today we will learn and solve questions 1 to 13 of exercise 1A, chapter 1. Chapter name is Knowing Our Numbers of class 6 of Composite Mathematics Textbook. If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos. And please visit my blog massgrade.com for more information regarding the textbook solution CBSC, ICAC and state school. Let's get started and solve some questions. Today we will learn about exercise 1A, questions 1 to 13 of chapter 1. Chapter name is Knowing Our Numbers. Let's solve some questions. Now question number 10, a multiple choice question. Which of the following sets of numbers is arranged in ascending order, that is in increasing order, that is from smallest to the biggest number. So here in all the, all digits have 5 digit number and in all the 10,000 plus value digit all have one in thousand plus value digit that is zero zero is the smallest digit so here zero 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 so smallest digit is zero next the smallest digit is zero so here also smallest digit zero and here also smallest digit zero here also smallest digit zero then next move to the smallest digit is zero here is also seven uh, Tens plus digit that is 0, smallest digit here also 0, tens plus and here also tens plus digit is 0. Now the 6, the digit 6, here 6, here also 6 and here also 6, 10,006. Now the second number is 1 in 10,000 plus 1 all have equal then in uh, thousand plus value digit zero here also zero 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 then in here six here zero here zero and here zero 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 these three have zero then next here zero this is already smallest digit number here smallest digit so, 10,060, 10,060. Both are equal. So, next. Uh, next, the uh, 10,000 plus value digit. Next number in 10,000 plus value digit 1. Then, uh, here 6, here 0. This is already done. 10,060. This is done. And 16,000, 10,000, 16,000, 10,600. Here, uh, 1000 plus value digit is 6 and here, 100 plus value digit is 6. So, this is the smallest number. This is the smallest number. So, this is interesting. So, next, 16,000. This is the biggest number. So, option D is the number, is the set of numbers arranging in ascending order. That is in increasing order. So, 10,006 is less than 10,060 is less than 10,600 is less than 16,000. So the numbers arranging in ascending orders, the option D is the correct option. Now question number 11, multiple choice question. The sum of the successor and predecessor of 100 is first bit A. Uh, 100, uh, the options are 101, 199, one, 200 and 111 sum of successor and predecessor of 100 successor of 100 is 100 plus 1 and the sum sum means this addition 
and predecessor of 100. Predecessor of 100 means previous number, that is 100 minus 1. And 100 plus 1 is 101, plus 100 minus 1 is 99. Now, uh, now 101 plus 99 is, 99 plus 1 is 100. 100 plus 100 is 200. So option C, that is 200, is the correct option. So the sum of the successor and predecessor of 100 is 200. Now question number 12, multiple choice question. In the number 43,256, the digit 3 stands for uh, 43,256. This is 3, 40,000. Expansion of this number 3. 40,000 plus 3,000 plus 200 plus 50 plus 6. So 3 stands for 3,000. 3 is in 1,000 place. So it is 3,000. So option C is the correct option. So in the number 43,256, the digit 3 stands for 3,000. Option C is the correct option. Now question number 13, high order thinking skills, first question. I am a 5 digit number, my 1's digit is 3, my 100's digit is 2 times my 1's digit. My 10's digit is sum of 1's digit and 100's digit and my 1000's and 10,000's digits is 1 less than 100's digit. What number am I? I am a 5 digit number. So this is a 5 digit number, my 1's digit is 3, 3. And my hundreds digit is, this is ones digit, ones, and hundreds digit is, hundreds digit is two times my ones digit. Two times my ones digit is three, so it is six. My tens digit is sum of ones digit and hundreds digit. Tens digit is, tens digit is sum of, ones digit ones digit is 3 and hundreds digit hundreds digit is 6 3 plus 6 is 9 and my thousands plus value digit is uh, my thousands and ten thousand digit is 1 less than hundreds digit 1 less than hundreds that is 6 minus 1 that is 5 and ten thousands digit is One less than hundred digit. That is six minus one. That is five. Now the number is uh, ten thousands digit is five, thousands digit is five, and hundreds digit is six, tens digit is nine, and ones digit is three. Now the number is five. 100 digit is 2 times 6 9 3. Mm. so 10,000 digit is 5 thousands digit 5 Hundreds digit is 6, tens digit is 9, and ones digit is 3. So the number is 55,693. 55,693. This is the number. This is the 5 digit number. I am a, a 5 digit number. My ones digit is 3. 3. My hundreds digit is 2 times my ones digit that is 2 multiplied with 3 is 6 and my tens digit is my tens digit is sum of ones digit and hundred plus digit that is 6 plus 3 is 9 tens digit is 9 and my thousands digit and ten thousands digit is 1 less than hundreds digit hundreds digit is 6 6 minus 1 is 5 6 minus 1 is 5 so the number is 55,693. 
we have to find the successor successor of 55693 we know uh, successor means the next number that is the following number when we find the successor of any number we have to add one with that number so successor of 55693 each we have to add one with the number 55693 now 55693 Plus one is fifty five thousand six hundred ninety four, and fifty five thousand six hundred ninety four is the successor of successor of fifty five thousand six hundred ninety three. So the successor is fifty five thousand six hundred ninety four. Now I am a question number four bit C. I am a five digit number. My ones digit is three. My hundreds digit is two times my ones digit. My tens digit is sum of ones digit and hundreds digit. My thousands and ten thousands digit is one less than hundreds digit. Am I greater than or less than the number fifty five thousand nine hundred thirty six? My ones digit is three, and my tens digit is sum of ones and hundreds. My hundreds digit is two times ones digit. Two times ones digit two times multiplied with three is six. That is hundreds digit is six, and my tens digit is sum of ones sum of ones digit and hundreds digit. That is six plus three is nine. Tens digit is nine, and my thousands and ten thousands digit is one less than hundreds digit. Hundreds digit is six. Six minus one is five, and uh, thousands digit is six minus one is five. Fifty five thousand six hundred ninety three. Is the number. Now we have to check the number. Compare the number. Am I greater than or less than the number five fifty five thousand nine hundred thirty six? Now we have to compare these two numbers. These two numbers. When we compare any numbers, we have to compare the highest place value digit. In this number, fifty-five thousand six hundred ninety-three, ten thousand plus value digit is five. In fifty-five thousand nine hundred thirty-six, ten thousand plus value digit is five. In thousands, in thousand plus, in fifty-five thousand six hundred ninety-three, thousand plus value digit is five. In fifty-five thousand nine hundred thirty-six, thousand plus value digit is five. Both are equal. Now move to the hundred plus value digit. In hundred place in the number fifty five thousand six hundred ninety three hundred place value digit is six in fifty five thousand nine hundred thirty six hundred place value digit is nine. Now six is less than nine. Six is less than nine. So this is fifty five thousand six hundred ninety three is less than fifty five thousand nine hundred thirty six. This is less than. So the number fifty five thousand six hundred ninety three. Is less than the number
for now subscribe my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any doubts then please write in comment section and i'll reply keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you